Hi everybody, good Sunday afternoon. Let's get an update on your forecast. Three active hurricanes out there now. The Atlantic, Kirk, Leslie, and most importantly for the United States as of the moment, as of right now, is uh, Milton. This is the uh, next one that will be impacting the mainland U.S. and uh, looks like it'll be impacting Florida in a pretty big way. As of right now, Category 1 hurricane. Here's the 5 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Winds 85 miles per hour set to strengthen quite a bit. Now moving east at 7 miles per hour. It should pass north of the Yucatan and then and curve towards the northeast towards uh, the west coast of Florida uh, will likely strengthen a lot by the uh, b before it gets there. Category four strength by Tuesday afternoon should be a really impressive storm. Will likely weaken a little bit back down to category three by Wednesday afternoon just before landfall. Now most likely to occur somewhere near uh, Tampa Bay and Fort Myers. Of course, that cone of uncertainty is still pretty wide. Could be up towards the north, down towards the south. But uh, beyond that, Thursday and Friday, this will be moving out into the Atlantic and passing south of the Carolinas. Uh, here's a closer look at that track, likely uh, somewhere in the vicinity of Tampa and Florida, uh, Tampa and Orlando, I should say, and then out towards Cape Canaveral. Uh, that's at least courts closer to where the center line is, but obviously the cone of uncertainty is still pretty wide, so it may wobble back and forth. But regardless, this will still not be an issue for the Carolinas. Spaghetti model is kind of showing that uncertainty at the moment where it could go farther south, could go farther north. But uh, again, uh, Carolinas get spared from this storm. And for Leslie, uh, this will weaken back towards a tropical storm, and you'll see there kind of towards the end of the forecast track, it will be kind of curving back towards the north. So again, probably not a big issue for us to worry about. Then you've got Kirk, which may actually be a bigger issue for France, uh, Belgium, and Germany compared to the United States. This will be quickly moving up towards the northeast as it gets scooped up by the jet stream. By then, it'll be a hybrid storm, not a hurricane, but uh, still very, pretty impactful for Europe. Meanwhile, back here at home today, here's what it looks like outside, 82 degrees in Greenville. Plenty of sunshine, not as humid as the past couple of days. That's been nice. Uh, we noticed that overnight last night for those of us who still don't have power and open the windows. We woke up to cooler temperatures this morning because of the lower humidity outside right now. Yeah, still pretty warm out there, though. 84 in Clemson and Anderson right now. 84 in Abbeville, 81 in Spartanburg, even low 80s up towards Western North Carolina and into Northeast Georgia. But luckily, no rain in sight. Uh, all the rain, at least for the moment, is down towards Southern Georgia and the low country. We are getting a bit of a pattern shift starting tomorrow evening. A dry cold front will be coming in. This uh, upper level trough will be on the back side of that should give us some cooler, drier air from the northwest starting tomorrow evening. All right, so for the rest of the night tonight, though, we'll keep with the clear sky. Temperatures down to the lower 60s across much of the upstate early tomorrow. Some spots in the upper 50s, mid 50s to low 60s across western North Carolina. Plenty of sunshine for tomorrow afternoon as well, uh, but a little warmer. We're going to get up to around 82 by lunch time and as high as around 86 to 87 in a couple places for Monday afternoon. That's shy of record highs. I checked we uh, have record highs for many places in the low 90s tomorrow, so we'll fall short of that. But regardless, above average for this time of year. Latest future radar wants to paint a couple of very isolated showers for uh, tomorrow afternoon. I'll keep that 10% chance of rain in the forecast, but the vast majority of us will stay dry as this is a dry front. Uh, partly cloudy overnight into Tuesday morning for Tuesday afternoon. It will be noticeably cooler. We're done with the 80s for a while after tomorrow. Highs will be up into the mid 70s for Tuesday afternoon. And luckily, this area of high pressure that's settling in for this week will keep Milton down towards the south and bring cooler, drier air our way. We may get a couple of clouds from the storm as outflow comes up from the south uh, for Wednesday and Thursday, but uh, no rain, I don't think. If anybody in the Carolinas gets rain, it'll be down towards the coast, and even that should be pretty meager compared to what they'll get in Florida. Uh, so we get a nice, quiet week uh, for the upcoming week, which is definitely some great news. Here's what I have for the four day plus again, mostly sunny tomorrow with the smallest of chances of a stray shower, but vast majority of us stay dry. Cooler starting Tuesday, part the cloudy as Milton passes down towards the south and getting kind of chilly in the morning, starting on Wednesday with lows near 52 down to 50 Thursday morning and into the upper 40s Friday and Saturday morning. Uh, no big chances of rain in the immediate future. It's going to be a lot of sunshine and more fall like temperatures for the upcoming week. A little bit warmer towards next weekend with highs back up into the mid and upper 70s for the 40 plus for the mountains. Same story here. Uh, mostly sunny tomorrow. Cooler starting Tuesday. Cold in the morning Wednesday and Thursday with lows upper 40s there. Mid 40s Friday and Saturday. Uh, just what we need is some fall weather for the upcoming week.